What's up, YouTube? It's Gibson Guitar Guy here, and I'm going to give you guys a tour of the newly released Main Stage 3. Now, for starters here, as you can see, the um, main page has a few options ranging from quick start, keyboards, guitar rigs, drums, vocals, mixers, and then there's all of your custom settings down here. Also, whenever you click on whatever category, as you can see to the side here, you get a few custom, just I call them stock options that you can use. And I haven't set up any of my own yet, so we can just toy around with some of these stock ones just to get a sense for the tones. So the first uh, patch that comes to mind for me is probably synth because I like playing the synth a lot. And as you can see there, loading concert right by my Chiefs background. May have only won two games, but I'm still a proud fan. Now hold on while it's loading. There we go. And I've got little AKAI MIDI controller over here. Probably use a little more volume, but anyways, as you can see, we've got just in that one little keyboard section that's a preloaded thing, we've got this whole list of patches here. And you can scroll through them by pushing this button. Oops, probably can't see that. By clicking this button down here and channel through them, but I kind of like that. It's called the 80's Polysynth. As you can see, it's pretty sweet. You get, you've got your own little layout up here. And I did find out you can customize this whole thing, so you can make it look however you want. And you can build it as a, like, accustomed to your MIDI. So say, like, if you don't have, like, modulators like this, you can just click on them and delete them. You just click on them. Yeah, there we go. You can just click on them and delete like that. Customize the layout, which is quite cool. And then whenever you go to perform, no modulators. And also you can customize whatever knobs you want up here and what they do. And you can use them from your MIDI. And see, look at that, I'm controlling that from my MIDI controller, and it's quite cool. And this is just the stock, obviously. You can build your own keyboard rig. And that's the beauty of it all, but anyways, as you can see, they've got a ton of different tones to play with, and I've only had this for a few hours, so I obviously don't have it down completely, but... Another feature Main Stage has is you can do all your mixing here on the side. Got all your little channels for, obviously, every single little mini pack you're using, and... Obviously, just like everything else, that's totally customizable. And I never had Main Stage 2, so I've never known any of the features of that, so I couldn't tell you what's new. But I can tell you that it is quite cool how you can, like, mix concerts from in here. Right here, let me load this patch really quickly. That, this one loads fast. But this is just another stock patch, and you can get your vocals going into this, and... Do mixing. There's a lot of stuff from Logic in this because obviously it's made, they're both made by Apple, so it's got a fair amount of stuff. And if you go down here, you can look in. It's called the Patch Inspector. I don't know if you can see if the camera's kind of blurry, but it's called the Patch Inspector and drums and percussion. Look at that. Whatever. Do whatever you need to do. And obviously, I can't control any of this from my MIDI controller since this is all vocal stuff and I don't have a mic plugged in but what I can do is I can take us over to a drum pad let me just go to this 8 drum pad here and this is fairly I don't know about basic but it is what it is and you can customize it like say you have like a 3x4 pad system on your MIDI controller. You can have it set up that way. I only have a 2x4. So, I don't know if you can see. Let me turn on my computer brightly. It's brightness a little bit. You can see the pad down there. And obviously I'm no, no drummer and I certainly am no drum patter, but this is a little bit of the basic sense for it here. So obviously, I don't know a lot about the drums and stuff, but you've got a few different patches here, which is nice. And you can customize it all. 
up in here. Anyways, that's about all I got for you guys today, but if you have any questions or anything, if you're thinking about buying it, just let me know and I'd be happy to look into anything for you.